diet. Is there anything looking back on it you change about your diet? Um, I think for me, my diet's good now, but I think I'd change it earlier. Um, yeah. yeah, I started kind of taking my diet seriously probably as a second year scholar more. Um, and for me, the the change that it's given me is oh, massively like. What's that? Just like eating the right sort of stuff before? Yeah, I think. Or just like overall, just like. I think overall, like throughout a week, just fueling yourself properly to then obviously go and play consistently and consistently well, really. Um, I think before I really took took advantage of the nutritionists and people like sports scientists and really asked them and, and put a plan together for me. Um, I was kind of, obviously, you half know what good things and yeah. bad things are like. Trying to eat half healthily, but like um, at times you, it, I'd let let it slip and stuff before I really took a stamp on it and and changed it. What would you What would you give as like a a day in your diet? So say on a game day, for example, yeah. what, what would your whole diet be after the game, before the game, just before the game? Would you drink everything? Yeah, um, I think for me, I'm quite. Like I, w- I always do the same thing. I'm quite set on that. Um, you like a routine. Yeah, like, I like a routine. Yeah, so wake up obviously, uh, smash a liter of water. Um, I normally put I normally put electrolyte in it actually, like a oh, lemon yeah. one or something like that, um, like an SIS one. Mm. Yeah, so I have one of them. I love some porridge with with like bananas and raisins and um, some fruit and some blueberries actually most of the time. Um, yeah, and then I won't eat. I just keep sipping on water uh, throughout the day. I won't eat until pre-match normally, um, if it's like a three o'clock. Um, yeah, and then obviously have my pre-match meal like a get the salmon in. <laughs> yeah, get the salmon and pesto in. Uh, and then obviously before game, drink another electrolyte tablet. Uh, I'll have a Red Bull, half a Red Bull before the game, and then half a banana as well. And then I'll at half time the rest of my Red Bull or the rest of my banana that reminds me you're obviously you're not that bad have you heard about Vardy's <laughs> yeah I know mate it's, it's, it's crazy really mental isn't it like, yeah it's like four Red Bulls yeah. in one day before the game or something yeah I saw that yeah but it's, mate it makes him an animal though doesn't it so to be fair you'd be buzzing <laughs> yeah you'd be buzzing about wouldn't you and then what about after the game like straight after recovery or what are you doing to eat yeah so obviously play the game and I normally, I normally have a protein shake with a cherry juice. Um, I don't really, obviously, if I'm honest, like, I don't massively know what it does, but um, I've given, been given it before and it's worked for me. So, um, yeah, so I have that and then obviously have a big protein di- uh, like dinner-ish uh, after the game. And to be fair, mostly after the game, if I want to smash some ice cream or something, I might do. Treat yourself. <laughs> yeah, if we win. So that, that's sort of linked on to my next one, talking about recovery. Obviously, diet will be a lot. Yeah. Like, it'll sort of interlink. But do you take anything, like, more serious in terms of, like, stretching or, like, using equipment, let's say, yeah, yeah. with your recovery these days? Yeah, um, for me, like I said before with the diet, I think when I stepped down on that and really switched on, I've done the same thing with recovery. Um, for me, it's been a big part in 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 me playing as many games as I had for the, for the 23s this season and also... Um, training with the first and every day and travelling with them um, products I use are like I use quite a quite a bit of like cricket balls and kind of balls to get in smaller parts and, and also rollers um, I use them quite a lot and stretch quite a bit to be fair do you, for, for me it's, it's good as a do goalie. you go in like the sauna room sauna room sauna or like ice bath every day yeah or... yeah so specifically I normally I quite like to go in the sauna quite a bit because it gets you sweating, kind of. I feel feel dizzy. It's meant to be good for you, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I feel good afterwards, and then uh, for me, like it depends on the day with ice baths. But recovering after a game, I do um, obviously hot and cold. So I'll do like two, three minutes in the in the cold, which is like eight to ten degrees, and then um, two, three minutes in the hot, which is normally like 30 something degrees. So the, the contrast is good, I think. Um, and it really helps me. And then also, um, yeah, obviously the sauna, the ice bath, and also I, then I just stretch loads to be fair. 